My role at Brocade allows me to work with our customers and our partners to scope and qualify their server virtualization opportunities. I also work with them to develop a migration and deployment strategy, uh, and occasionally I work on site to uh, deploy their server virtualization technologies and the underlying IP network and SAN infrastructure. There are obviously some specific challenges for every customer when it comes to challenges they face in a virtualized data center, but there's also three areas that tend to be uh, a common issue in, in all deployments of virtualization. And those tend to be around uh, the SAN, uh, around the network, and, and around the SAN fabric. And when you think about it, it's really uh, fairly obvious why you'd have problems in those areas. Uh, you've gone from, for example, 100 physical servers in your old environment, and each physical server may have you know, up to six uh, NICs and two HBAs, uh, and now when you've consolidated, you're down to as few as 10 physical servers, perhaps, and they have six NICs and two HBAs, but you're still pushing the same amount of traffic across them. So that presents a, a unique set of challenges post-consolidation that have to be taken into account, and you have to allow for that when you're designing your infrastructure. And that, of course, is the same with the, with the storage itself, the underlying storage platform. Um, virtualization puts unique demands upon the shared storage, uh, and those have to be taken in cons into consideration also. When you're looking at some of the top considerations that customers need to take into account when deploying the virtualization solution, really, you know, we've already talked about the underlying infrastructure, um, but there's also some areas post-consolidation that you need to think about as well. Um, some of the things that people perhaps don't think about up front, but they're going to raise their head at some point, are around uh, performance and availability. Is my environment going to perform the same way post-consolidation as it did before we consolidated? Is it going to have the same availability and uptime that it had beforehand? And of course, if you have problems in those areas, uh, you're going to have uh, users lose confidence in your environment. You also have to take a look at manageability. How easy is it going to be to manage this environment that can scale rapidly? Virtual machines are a lot easier to deploy than physical servers. So as the environment grows, you need to take those manageability concerns into account as well. And finally, and this is something that a lot of people overlook until uh, they're down the road with their virtualization plan, backups and disaster recovery. Typically, people migrate their traditional backups into the virtual environment. So they've come from the physical environment into the virtual environment. Uh, post-consolidation. And these backups, while they may work uh, in the early stages of virtualization, don't tend to scale very well. And rapidly, you can start to have problems and have backups run long. And users start complaining that performance is not where it should be, because they're now competing for cycles on the servers with the backups. When it comes to how uh, Brocade is unique, I think really the things to look at here are the increased performance and availability in the environment, while lessening the amount of hardware and overhead that's required. Uh, what's also great about our solutions is that it's viable across multiple hypervisor environments. So it doesn't matter if you're running uh, VMware, Hyper-V, or so on. We can provide the same kind of solution, uh, robust solution, across multiple uh, virtualization environments. I think if we were going to look at what makes for the smoothest deployment experience when it comes to virtualization, it's really uh, best case. And this is not the only way to do it. I mean, there's obviously ways you can uh, remedy a poor design post-deployment. But if we're going to look at the perfect case scenario uh, when it comes to deploying a new solution with virtualized technologies, um, we need to look at the underlying infrastructure. As, as I've mentioned time and time again, a strong foundation is the key. So. Best case scenario, we're involved early in an environment to work with the customer, understand what they're trying to do and what their requirements are. We're going to deploy a robust uh, solution beneath the virtualization layer, which that, that's key that you think about this first. So we're looking at the IP network uh, and its integration with VMware, the storage and the fabric with the consolidated nature of virtualization. Uh, before we move into the ESX config and the virtual networking configuration and the actual deployment of virtual machines and migration from the physical infrastructure. So it's key that we look at it from cradle to grave, so to speak, across the complete solution for the data center. Uh, if we're able to do it that way, we can, you know, we can mitigate a lot of the challenges that people face post-consolidation. But again, if we do come into this uh, further down the road, there's a lot of things we can do to help people reach their goals.